1929, a light shines in Jerusalem. A son is born to the great Kabbalist, Rabbi Suleiman Eliyahu. The son's name, Mordechai Tzemach, is to be a great person amongst Am Yisrael. At the age of 11, unfortunately, his father passes away. He's studious, he learns, he becomes a young guy, and eventually the chief rabbi of the state of Israel in the 1980s and early 1990s. As the chief rabbi, Rabbi Mordechai Eliyahu, is invited to France. He comes, he's standing there, he visits the French Museum before a great address in the evening in front of the then President Jack Chirac. He comes to the, to, to the museum and he's looking around and they introduce him and they say, this is Napoleon, this is a whole room about Napoleon. And he asks, who was Napoleon? They look at him in surprise. They say, quoi ça? Who is Napoleon? And they explain to him Napoleon was a great leader and they tell him all about Napoleon. Then he comes and he sees the chair that Napoleon was sitting on the throne. And he says, wow, this is amazing. Tell me something. How long ago was this made? And they explain to him and he says, can I buy it? And they look at him with, with wow, what do you mean can you buy Of course you can't buy it. This is French pride. This is our society. This is coming into the uh, museum and everybody gets to see it. He moves to the next room. He sees Louis XIV, all different artifacts. And he says, tell me something. Who was Louis XIV? They explained to him he was a king, he was reigned, and he says, was he ethical? What did he contribute to the world? They look at him and they tell him, listen, to be honest, he wasn't so ethical, didn't contribute much, so why do you respect him? Well, it's a French history and honor, and we're still going to honor him, and we're proud to have a king like that. That evening, he spoke in front of a crowd of hundreds of dignitaries, and he stands up and he says, today I went to the French Museum, I saw Napoleon, I saw all the different things, artifacts from King Louis, and I asked, is the throne of Napoleon for sale? And everybody laughed, everybody started laughing. And I was told it's not for sale. I asked whether King Louis was able to contribute and he was ethical and, every, and I was answered, he's not so ethical, but nevertheless we have to respect him. I ask you, I'm from Israel and you expect me to know about your history a few hundred years ago. You expect me to respect somebody that wasn't necessarily so ethical and didn't contribute so much to the world. We are the Jewish people, and God Almighty gave us the Torah. He gave us the Bible. Do the French not recognize this contribution to the world society? Do the French not also follow this amazing Bible, the words of Moses? This is, in those words, it states that the land of Israel is a given to the people of Israel. And you want me to take Jerusalem and the land of Israel, and you expect me to be able to sell it? When I ask you about the throne of Napoleon, is it for sale? It's not for sale. Jerusalem is not for sale. This is our pride. This is our honor. This was Rabbi Mordechai Eliyahu, a person that was prepared to stand up and to say his faith. He was somebody that got a standing ovation and then President Jack Chirac gave him a medal of honor, which today, till today, his family has. We learn from him. We respect him. And a Jew should always know we have faith in God Almighty. We have a, a rich history, a rich tradition, and we should be proud of that tradition. Shabbat Shalom.